What's going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review this time it's a 1-6 from ace toys uh, lucius fox um, this is not actually lucius fox they're unlicensed but um it can pass and you can purchase you know figures like this at bigbadtoystore.com they got variety of figures so they're not just you know just hot toys or enterbay they have some you know products that are uh that's supposed to be there to say the least and uh click the link down below you know it'll take you to that site if you haven't visited them they're they're pretty awesome four dollar shipping can't beat that so the box is pretty generic not even generic it's just a plain box it is comparable to the extra body of an enter bay figure that's how skinny the box is but it's okay i love it because it, it doesn't take up too much space so as you can see here lucius fox uh, he doesn't come with much as as probably you can tell from the box itself and uh, for a reason I bought this pretty cheap uh, I don't know the original retail price for this guy but I got it from I believe eBay I forgot this has been a while I just recovered this from my archives as well um, for $60 so that's not bad at all with the suit and everything uh, he comes with just hands. I don't know why he has trigger finger hands because uh, he doesn't come with any guns. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you see this a lot with uh, cheaper figures. You know, by cheaper I mean three zero as well. Uh, you know, you can see the seam on uh, the gap on their hands, and you know, they're not too uh, subtle about these things. And you can see he got uh, a pocket square right there, and he has some cane which i know on batman he didn't have one but and he has a coat and hat and that's per basically it uh for a figure that's 60 bucks i'm not really complaining all that much uh i just needed a lucius fox or somewhat some somebody that's going to represent lucius fox uh fox in my collection because i um i pretty much have all the dark knight figures except for some that are you know to in my opinion that are not too relevant or i already have one but uh as far as him representing lucius fox i know there's a weapons collector i'm not sure which company made that as well but it is one of kind of like it falls into this category of ace toys who are not licensed but uh it's okay uh it, it'll, it'll pass as lucius fox if you see my entire dark knight collection and he's standing right there you're gonna be like oh okay this is not the guy from now you see me because that's kind of like my impression on him i think they kind of made him for that movie which is uh strange because no one would want to collect anything from that movie he looks like the magician from you know the movie now you see me um a while back and uh all his you know his hat and everything i guess to kind of deflect the fact that he is will pass on as lucius fox especially that the tie he doesn't have a tie uh, he wears a bow tie in the dark knight which is um you could i could um you know custom made it you know buy it from ebay or something but honestly i don't i don't want to spend more money on things that i don't you know really feel strongly about you know it, it doesn't need to be 100 percent screen accurate for me just a representation of lucius fox um will do maybe down the line i would try to customize him a little bit more to make him look like but the, the head sculpt itself is not too bad as you can see here from a unlicensed company um the paint application is pretty nice uh the sculpting you can clearly see this is morgan freeman you know the, the gray hair and everything so like i said it would pass on i mean if you want to completely change his outfit or just give him a vest and a bow tie i i think that would work uh, i don't know exactly how much you're gonna spend if you do that perhaps less than 20 maybe not sure yet but yeah overall i am pretty impressed with the head sculpt especially for 60 bucks that i spent on the body is not that great the suit is you know what what you would expect from a cheaper figure and because even if you buy a custom made suit online unless it's one of those expensive ones if you buy the 30 dollar one they are not nice fitting anyway it's kind of like if you are 
if you're an actual person and you buy a suit from Sears, then, you know, one of those off the racks, you know, of course, it's not going to fit you perfectly. You need to have a custom suit for that. And he does have a hat, as you can see here, that you can kind of rest on his head. But uh, it kind of looks silly. It, I, I guess it works. But, uh, you know, it doesn't fit too well. You know, I know it doesn't need to be pushed all the way down. Or maybe you could. I just won't because, A, Lucius Fox didn't wear this hat. And, B, I don't want to do any paint rub on his forehead just in case I... Uh, I exert any effort on him. You know what? I'm, I'm pretty happy with the head sculpt. And uh, like I said, his main purpose is to stand in my uh, display case as a Lucius Fox. I'll put him in a in a few poses here before I wrap this thing out. I think Lucius Fox only wore a suit when he met with that Chinese um, smuggler or something or accountant in the Dark Knight when he went to Hong Kong. So. And I gotta rewatch the film. Maybe he, maybe he wasn't wearing a suit back then. But um, yeah, here he is holding the hat and with a cane. So yeah, you can you can put him in, I guess, different poses. This is him wearing the hat with the scarf. The scarf is a nice touch too. You know, it's nice fabric. You can use it on other figures. Um, but like for him, for for Lucius Fox, this is unnecessary. But it comes with it. So uh, I decided to just, you know, use it and have it go around. The, the reason I bought this is because I do not think that... I think Hot Toys just gave up on the Dark Knight trilogy. You know, they have some misses on uh, on the recent releases, kind of like the Bat. It's huge, it's expens expensive. Uh, Robin or uh, Blake and uh, the Gordon 2-pack didn't really sell well. You know, they're still available right now at the retail. At Big Bad Toy Store, and it's been you know after a while. Then the Bank Robber Joker version two wasn't also a hit, and that was um, an exclusive, you know, summer exclusive or something like that. So you know they're they're releasing Batman Begins, I believe, on quarter scale and the Joker in quarter scale, and that might sell well, you know, because it's quarter scale and it's the Joker and Batman. But other than that, you know, I think the the hopes of getting for example, Lucius Fox and Talia and, uh, you know, uh, what's the guy's name? The, the villain from the first movie. He's always getting custom made. Uh, are very slim. I don't think we're going to get a complete line just because of the previous failures of the line. And uh, they might not think that this is you know, profitable anymore, which is... Uh, they are somewhat true and they are a for-profit company so here he is uh just you know high comparison wise to both of my uh dark knight i guess human beings or they're all humans but you know non-costume figures you know you can see he's in great scale between the two uh bruce wayne and um, alfred right there standing with the uh, generic base and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you are looking for a Lucius Fox, this or the Arms Collector dealer, I think the Arms Collector has a better overall look. Although I would say the head sculpt on this is much better than that. So if you can combine both, uh, that would be, you know, ideal. But either one would satisfy being Lucius Fox in your collection. So thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully this review help you, helps you out. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and uh, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook so you can, you know, follow my updates. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.